All right, we'll place a new weapon inside the scene again. Yeah, let's go down to the end of our projectile primary list here. All right, so we've taken a look at the spark, uh, the hit spark, the hit decal. Um, again, I'm going to turn off the hit decal here, and we're going to turn off the hit spark. That way we're we're not concerning ourselves with what those look like. We're just going to focus on the next piece for it. Um, what we're going to look at here is going to be the uh, the hit explode. This is going to say what happens when the bullet hits. Currently it does nothing. Um, if we want we could say radial, meaning that when it hits it's going to have a radial damage radius um, per hit on it. So we could say that it's going to have a radius of 5 uh, effector, so it's going to be, if this was 10 and it hits, it's going to be right around this area. So any object that could be hit by it um, would actually have an applied damage to it. Plus you can have the explode power so that if you're wanting to have like a, if we have a barrel or something that you want to hit and blows upwards, you could do that with it. Um, actually, let's see if this will do explode upwards around 50. Might be a little too much, but uh, we'll set it for that one for the moment. All right, so we'll do the explode on this one. Let's go ahead and go back here. We'll grab one of our physics objects and uh, use that to do the explode from. And then let's just get an eyedropper with the block. We'll set up some walls just in case. So we've turned off the, the visual cues in terms of the hit decal and hit spark, so it's just going to be the bullet hitting the uh, object. So notice I hit this one, has an explosion radius, and it forced that one to actually blow up around it. Now if you notice that explosion, actually the 5 must be a little bit bigger than I'm thinking because it's actually affecting the player as well. Do you see the player getting hit? So the player actually died from it. Um, uh, so that's something another just kind of to take note of there. So there you go. So you can continue hitting it, and there it goes. And we can shoot those. We can shoot the things. Have the radial damage effect and have the explosion effect. And the effect that we actually had was pretty powerful on it. So we could take it down a little bit if you wanted to. The the one thing you can make sure of is that when you start doing explosions, uh, based on the physics object's mass. So if it's really a heavy mass, you might need more explosion, but if it's really light, then one explosion could like force it way up into the air. All right, so there we go. That'll give you kind of basics on the uh, explosion force for it.